Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. I am Delaney if you didn't already know that and this is going to be just a vlog of a few days in my life. I'm currently on my period so I'm going to be just showing you guys all the things that I do to combat all the negative symptoms that come with a period. But yeah, just a few days in my life. This is like my last full week of classes for college and I'm going to be going back home at the end of next week. So it's so crazy that the year is coming to a close. So I just got my Target order. I got a watermelon and I have not had a watermelon since August. So I'm so excited right now and I actually specifically got it for being on my period because I didn't know that it's good to eat when you're on your period. But I also just got a few other basic things that I was running out of like bread and I'm really loving these protein plant powered wraps right now. They're so good, it tastes like a normal tortilla. And I also got this hair mask by Shea Moisture. This is the brand that I use for my shampoo and con conditioner. So we're gonna try it out today actually because today is hair washing day because my hair is absolutely disgusting. But I'm so excited. <laughs> I figured I would show you guys if I haven't already because why not? I feel like my hair is decently healthy. I have been putting a little bit more heat on it than I would like so it's not the best that it could be right now but that's okay. So we're gonna do that and then I'm gonna make a coffee because I'm craving a coffee even though you really shouldn't have caffeine when you're on your period because it can just make things worse. So yesterday, even though that, that part wasn't in the vlog, I did make a matcha brown sugar latte because matcha, even though it does have caffeine, it has a lot less um, than coffee. But normally I like to do decaf coffee or do matcha or tea. But the only reason I'm having coffee today is because I haven't really gotten cramps yet, knock on wood. Um, I think I kind of stopped them from coming at least for right now because I took ibuprofen early. All I'm going to do is wet my hair. It would be nice if I had a spray bottle, but I do not. So we just have to get our hair hand wet and then put it on our hair. Okay, so now that I brushed my hair out and it's nice and wet, I'm just going to be taking Olaplex number three and just kind of coating my hair in that, my ends and my roots. <laughs> Okay, so now that I put that in, I am going to be taking this deep moisturizing mask now. Now that I put that in, I'm going to be taking the Olaplex number six. And I'm just going to be using a little bit of this. This stuff smells really, really good taking about like that much and then I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of castor oil and I'm basically just gonna put this in the ends of my hair now the last thing I'm gonna do is apply argan oil and jojoba oil jojoba oil I don't know how to pronounce it I never know um, but I'm just gonna do a little pump of each in my palm and just Again, do the ends of my hair and I just like work up, just not touching my scalp. Okay, I'm gonna have a really random snack right now, but we're gonna eat our watermelon and then I have roasted veggies that I made last night for dinner that are just so good and I really wanna eat them right now. This is the only way. I'll eat watermelon now. So this is our little snack before I make dinner in a few hours. Just roasted veggies, it's carrots, Japanese sweet potatoes, and Brussels sprouts. I made this last night. It is literally the best roasted veggies ever. I got the recipe from Brielum on TikTok, and I also made it in my last vlog that just went out. I flew here on a... I'm gonna say Southwest. It's a little bit later, and it's time for me to finally wash this out. 
I left it in for a good three, four hours, I think, which I feel like is the most I have in a while. Now I'm gonna shower and we're gonna make chicken pad thai after this homemade. I'm making it with spaghetti squash noodles and zucchini noodles. It's not my recipe, I got it off TikTok or Instagram. Those are like the two main places where I get all my recipes from and it just makes my life so easy because it'll just pop up and I'm like, oh, that's healthy and it looks good. I'm gonna make it. Oh my gosh. Okay guys, so I'm out of the shower as you can tell and I have my microfiber towel in my hair and I usually leave this in my hair for at least 30 minutes but I just wanted to quickly talk about a few other things that I always, always do when I'm on my period. One of the first things that is an absolute must is having peppermint oil. This honestly <laughs> saves my life because it makes my cramp feel so much better same with my back pain so all i'll do is take it and you can put it in your hands or just like dab it onto your stomach and rub it in with my hands and if you ever get like nauseous on your period also this is gonna help with that of course too it has like a cooling effect it smells good and it feels good but another thing i also do is only use pads i will only use a tampon if i like really really need to if i'm gonna go work out obviously i would need to use it then but i take it out right after i'm just not putting myself at risk for any toxic shock i just will not so pads are always a must and they're comfortable honestly i'll just wear sweats and baggy pants when i'm on my period so i made my chicken pad thai it was actually really really good the only thing that went wrong was my spaghetti squash it didn't like separate because i don't think i cooked it correctly but it was still really really good um i have a ton of leftovers so i'm like really happy about that now i don't have to make another meal at least tomorrow and the next day but i just finished cleaning up it took me like 25 minutes but it's all clean now and i have an assignment due tonight that I need to finish and so I'm gonna go sit out in my living room and do that but I just really quickly wanted to like brush through my hair and put the rest of my hair products in before I forget and my hair completely dries but my hair feels so good and super healthy and I'm just gonna put in this Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restyle and Restore Styling Lotion do about like that much and then I'm also going to put in this Olaplex number 7 bonding oil just a little bit at the ends at least just to hydrate them okay I'm going to make this brownie cookie that's but it's healthy <laughs> And it has dark chocolate in it, which is good to have when you are preparing. I did make this the other day, but I didn't have it with ice cream. And we're gonna try this. We're gonna try this time with ice cream. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm gonna put it at the bottom of my bowl and then put um, this Oatly mint chip ice cream on top.
hi guys i thought i would do a little update i just got starbucks i was gonna make a coffee at home but i was like i kind of want to go get coffee <laughs> and so i did and i didn't get my usual order and i'm kind of scared because for the past five months that's all i've been getting and so i got a grande vanilla cream cold brew with two pumps of white mocha and vanilla sweet cream cold foam on top i got this order from Rachel Radke, who I love on YouTube. I love her so much. I'm pretty sure I ordered it right. I honestly don't know, but Oh my god Mmm, yeah, okay, okay That's good. Also, this is not decaf. I didn't even think about it being a little hypocritical but I forgot honestly because I didn't have cramps yesterday which was really awesome and I haven't really had cramps today either I figured I'd give you guys the lowdown the rundown of today I went to class this morning I worked out um well I I did the Stairmaster for 30 minutes which I'm like dripping sweat and I always wear leggings and a sweatshirt when I do it so I sweat the most I do want to do yoga today too i haven't done it for like 20 days i had been doing yoga straight for two months every single day without a break and so it's kind of weird i guess i needed a little bit of a break but i'm ready to get back in because in my class this morning my it was my last class with this professor we did a 10 minute breathing and stretching exercise and i was like oh my god i miss this and so i'm gonna do that and I also am going to edit another video, maybe start working on some final things that I have to do. I don't have any exams though, so I'm feeling great. I also might be going to a baseball game later with um, this girl from one of my classes. So that's really exciting, but yeah. When you don't look I'm just having a quick little snack my watermelon and honey i just sent in a video for a brand partnership and i'm really relieved that i finally got that done and i'm going to start editing another video that's going to go up next week i really want to start sending brands emails and like dms also and then i'm going to go to the baseball game that's at five i haven't really vlogged much today i feel like but I went to the baseball game, then I came home, I had some leftovers from yesterday for my chicken pad thai, and obviously I just took off like my mascara that I had on and I washed my face, and now I'm in my silk PJs. Okay, I really quickly just want to talk about all things period for just a second, because I haven't really talked about it yet. So the first thing is, you guys should follow me on Pinterest, because I have a whole board talking about all things cycle it's called body and i just have yoga for better sleep i have productivity for your cycle there's the foods that you should eat it's super cool to treat these certain periods of each month in different ways and know what your body needs most because then once you teach your body that it's gonna thrive and it's something i've yet to follow consistently but i'm trying i'm getting there one of my absolute favorite things to do when i'm on my period and i'm laying in bed and my back is hurting so bad i'll just take two pillows like this stack up all the pillows and i can grab my laptop grab my phone a book and i'm like squished in perfectly and my knees are elevated so it's really supporting my back and i can like still be productive and feel good but another one is the legs up the wall pose it's really good to support your lower back if you do have back pain like me when you're on your period this is so funny i feel like i'm teaching a class about periods right now <laughs> but i just wanted to show you guys all the things that literally saved my life when i'm on my period Okay, so I decided that I'm gonna make popcorn and watch a movie.